everyone. So today's tutorial is a get ready with me for winter formal. So I'm going to be explaining my makeup, hair, as well as my outfit. So if you're interested in seeing this tutorial, just keep watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So I'm starting off by showing you guys my shoes for this look, which were sort of my inspiration. To prime my eyes, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion using a pea-sized amount, starting at the eyelid and blending that up until my eyebrow. To get that crisp eyeshadow line, I'm going in with scotch tape and applying it at an angle on the outside corner of my eyelid. And then I'm starting off with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, and I'm applying it all over my eyelid. I'm sorry this is kind of out of focus. Once again, I'm still messing around with a new camera trying to figure it out. So I'm just going to blend this in just on the eyelid. This is going to serve as a good base for the shadow we're going to put over, and it's just really going to make that shadow pop later on. So I'm taking this Tunnel Vision palette by Wet n Wild and I'm taking the white base shade and applying that right over that Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil that I just put on. Once again, this white color is really going to make whatever eyeshadow I put on top of it really pop. And that eyeshadow is going to be that kind of silver eyelid shade that is in the Tunnel Vision palette. I'm using that for the whole eye look today. So I'm applying that just with my finger all over it. Let me tell you, this eyeshadow is so pigmented, so creamy. For a drugstore item, I'm really obsessed with it. And so I'm just blending that out pretty much all over the eyelid. And then I'm taking a blending brush by Mary Kay and taking the kind of light silvery shade that comes in the palette but it says that it's a eyebrow like highlight kind of thing but I'm not using it for that I'm just using it in the crease to kind of blend things out then I'm taking my Sony Castric crease brush and using the crease color it's kind of this darker gray sparkly color and we're going to start in the very outer corner in the outer V and then work our way kind of slightly inward along the crease. You want to be very light handed at first because you don't want to have you know a super super dark color in the middle of your eyelid that would look kind of funky. And then when I'm satisfied with that I'm going in with the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush in that matte black eyeshadow in the palette which is the definer shade and applying this to the outer V. This is really going to darken this up and make it that smoky kind of look. Then I'm going back in with that Mary Kay brush with a little bit more of that silver shade blending and then going back in with the black. It's kind of just a process of getting this to where you want it. You know, how intense do you want the look to be. Then with some duo eyelash glue and my Ulta Glitter Eye Top Coat in the shade Fairy Princess, I'm going to be applying some glitter to my eyelids. So I'm taking the duo glue on my finger and I'm going to kind of blend it a little bit on my finger with the tip of the applicator. And then I'm just pressing this onto my eyelid where I want the glitter to go. You have to be pretty fast about this because the glue is going to dry. Then I'm just dipping my finger into that glitter eye top coat and applying this to the eyelid. It's super simple and it just makes her a really, really pretty look. Then I'm taking, once again, a little bit more of that silver shade and blending, blending, blending. The key to this look is blending. The more you blend, the better your look is going to turn out. Then comes the fun part where I'm taking off that tape and revealing that crisp eyeshadow line. And then after that, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. small angled brush with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in the shade Blackest Black and applying that all over my upper lash line. So unlike most people, I tend to do the lash line first and just line it with the gel eyeliner and then later on I go and add the wing. That's just my way of doing it. Make sure that you get that inner corner with the liner but be very light handed because you don't want a ton of this gel liner right in your inner corner. You want the line to get thicker as you go more towards the outer corner. Then for the wing, I'm following that tape line that I have done with the eyeshadow and just drawing upwards along it and then coming back downwards and connecting that to the gel liner I've applied along my upper lash line. Then I'm just going to fill it in and you have your wing. Then with Ardell number 105 Glamour Lashes in Duo Eyelash Adhesive in the clear kind, I am going to apply fake lashes 
to apply them I would suggest using angled tweezers I think it's the easiest way and make sure that you wait long enough for the glue to dry sometimes the I think it's 30 seconds or whatever it says on the package really isn't long enough which is kind of what my problem was here I didn't let it dry long enough and had some issues putting the lashes on so don't worry even some of us who um, are better with makeup application have a hard time putting on lashes on certain days. So eventually I did get them on, which was good. And then once the glue is dry, I'm going in with a little bit more gel eyeliner right along the lash band to kind of cover it up. To blend my fake lashes and my real lashes together, I'm going in with the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara in the shade 01 Black. I really like the wand on this. It's perfect for just getting into inner corner and stuff. And I'm just applying that. This is like a necessary step. You have to do this. And then I'm going in with the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil once again and an angled brush and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyebrow kind of tracing the shape of my eyebrow. I'm basically using this as a highlight. I know a lot of people like to go in with kind of a shimmery uh, highlight but for this look because I already have so much sparkle and shimmer going on I just want to use this matte white color and you're just gonna blend it in with your finger. Rubbing it doesn't work. You just kind of have to pat and pat 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 on it and it will blend in and just look really really nice. Then to kind of put a blending color between those silvers and that matte white color so it's not such an intense contrast, I'm taking a little bit of the MAC Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Brulee. It's just a kind of beigey color. It's a good transition. To line the lower lash line, I'm going in with the NARS Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in the shade Via Veneto. Wow, that's a mouthful, but yeah, I'm just going in and lining these. I'm sorry that you can't really see it, and then I kind of stabbed myself in the eye, but I didn't do anything special to apply it. Then I'm taking the same mascara as before and just applying a little bit of mascara to that lower lash line. And obviously I was having a struggle today because I got mascara all over my nose. But anyways, then I'm going in with the Chanel Crayon Sore Seals Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Claire. I think it's number 10. It will be linked below. And just kind of lining the bottom part of my lashes. Then I'm taking a little bit of uh, brown eyeshadow and filling them in. This isn't really any special kind of technique. This is just how I've been doing it recently. And I know not everyone fills in their brows. Then I'm just adding a little bit more of that eyebrow pencil to fill them in to my liking. And once I'm done with that, I'm moving on to a face primer. This is the Lancome La Base Pro. This is really just going to give more of a smooth base for my foundation. And I'm going in with the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in the shade 115. This has been my obsession lately. It is such a great price. It looks amazing in pictures. I just, I love it. And I'm applying that with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush all over my face and making sure to blend down into my neck. Then taking the Clinique All About Eyes Concealer in the shade, I think it's 03 Light Petal. I'm applying that just on top of my blemishes and I put a little bit too much, but that's okay. So I'm just kind of blending that out slightly with a Sonia Kashuk concealer brush just making sure I've really targeted those areas that need to be covered and I'm kind of following the uh, outline of my upper eyebrow just to really make that line clean. You know if there's any eyebrow pencil or anything that kind of got on my face it's going to be cleaned up with this. Then I'm taking that expert face brush once again and just blending all this out because obviously I put a little bit too much concealer, but that's okay. I normally wouldn't wear this much on a day-to-day -day basis, but because it's a formal occasion and I really want a smooth skin appearance, I went a little heavy-handed. To brighten the area under my eyes, I'm going in as always with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer in the shade Brightener Illuminator 160, applying that in a triangular motion under my eyes and then down my nose. I didn't put any on my forehead or my chin because I didn't want those areas kind of standing out in pictures. Uh, that was just my opinion, but if you want to put it there, you definitely can. I'm blending this in with a damp beauty blender. I think this is the best thing to blend in your concealer for underneath your eyes. 
then to make sure that none of this concealer and foundation kind of slides around on our face as the night goes on, I'm applying a Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. This is translucent, but it's just going to make sure that everything kind of stays in place. And I applied this using a Real Techniques setting brush. Then I'm going in with my Clinique Stay Matte Powder. I can't remember the shade. It will be linked down below. And I'm using a Real Techniques powder brush to apply this all over, making sure to blend down into my neck as well. I'm going to be wearing a strapless dress, so it would look really awkward if I didn't blend that down into my neck. Because I wanted a little bit more of a full coverage look, I'm taking the sponge that came with the powder and applying a little bit more powder onto my face. Uh, then I'm going to go in with the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer, and I'm using this bronzer to contour a little bit. I don't want a super dramatic contour, but just a little bit to bring some warmth to my face right under those cheekbones, kind of in the hollows of my cheeks. And then later on, because I completely forgot to show you guys here, I'm going to apply a little bit of this bronzer up on my forehead to bring some warmth there as well. And of course, when you're done with your bronzer, you gotta make the fishy face. And then I'm going to be going in and kind of blending it out a little bit with my powder brush with no additional product, just to make it a little more of a smoother, less dramatic appearance. Then I'm taking some blush with the Real Techniques blush brush and applying that on the apples of my cheeks. This is my favorite blush of all time. It is the MAC Mineralize Blush in the shade Warm Soul. It's just so, so pretty and goes with everything. Then, like I said, I'm applying a little bit of that bronzer to my forehead to bring some warmth to my face. For the lips, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in the shade Natural. I just really wanted the lips to remain kind of more neutral. You know, I didn't want them to be very bold because uh, the eye look is just so intense. So I'm kind of showing you here what the eyes look like. Super sparkly, glittery, pretty. Then for my hair, I curled it using my bedhead rock and roller. I didn't want to waste your time on here showing you that because I have a whole tutorial on how I curl my hair with this, so I will link that down below. So I'm keeping the look simple and I'm just sectioning off a portion of my hair on one side of my head and kind of twisting it and then I'm going to pin it with bobby pins. You don't want to pull that whole side back, just a portion so that you still have some hair covering your ears. This is just going to give a really, really pretty and elegant look for pictures. Then to hold everything in place, I'm going to apply some hairspray. This is the Tresemme Trez 2 Ultra Fine Mist number three hairspray. I'm just applying that all over, making sure there's no little hair sticking up, showing you the whole completed eye and hair look. And that's everything.